Hey what is up guys, this is Dave here. So today we're going to be doing a quick uh, how-to tutorial on removing mods or just putting them aside until you want to play mods again. Uh, this is for players that want to play online with their friends maybe or also just want to play without mods or want to get rid of them. So anyways, apologies for this late video. This was supposed to come out last week but just finished finals and along with work, uh, putting these videos out do is time consuming. So apologies for that after finals i will be putting on multiple videos for during the week so stay tuned for that anyways let's get straight into it so pretty much if you've seen any of my previous mod videos you know that you're going to have a mods folder whether it be weapons mod vehicles mod any of that sorts you're going to have a mods folder if you're modding gta 5. so what you're going to want to do is go ahead to your desktop or anywhere that's easy for you make a right folder by right clicking hit new select folder and i'm just going to name it gta backup you can name it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. So what this is going to be, is we're just going to put the mods there for the temporary my well-being until you want to play mods again. So for that, I'm just going to go to my main directory of GTA 5 by right-clicking the launcher by GTA 5, hit open file location, and you'll get to your location. Anyways, for Steam, it is a different location. I'll drop in the description below. So feel free to check that out if you can't find it. Anyways, what you're going to do is select your mods folder, right click it, hit cut, and then put it to your GTA 5 backup. If you are removing uh, the mods that you don't want anymore at all, if you just don't want mods at all, just go ahead and instead of cutting it, you can just select delete. Just right click it, hit delete, and it'll be good. It'll be like the exact same thing if you just want to get rid of it. Anyways, once you're done that, you're going to want to go to your open IV. So just go ahead and launch your open IV and right click it, run as admin, select yes, and then select GTA 5 for Windows. It's going to load up, and then once you're in here, select tools, go to ASI manager, and it's going to load up these three things. Just go ahead and uninstall all of them, and that's good. That's all you need to do in ASI for GTA 5. Once you've done that, you're going to go to your GTA 5 main directory once again, and then any leftover dot dll such as script hook v script hook v.net any dot dll or asi you're just going to want to right click it hit cut and then paste it into your gta5 backup folder you made just a while ago along with advanced hook as you can see it's a dot asi just go ahead and move it there and then that's pretty much it such as things such as reshade sweet effects emv series i played with them online and I haven't gotten banned yet. Um, if you really want to be on the safe side, because GTA Rockstar is G are can be very annoying at times. If you want to be safe, you can take them out too. Just go ahead, drop it into the GTA 5 backup. So such as reshade, I can take out reshade. I can take out my scripts folder, but those are not very necessary because you take in all the ASI loaders. Uh, make sure you don't miss any ASI loaders, or your game will not start. And that's pretty much all you need to do. So for example, I have a trainer.5.asi, but I can't load it with script without script hook, so I don't really need to remove it. If you want, you can just remove it to be safe. Just move it over, cut it over, just just in case. Rockstar is Rockstar. They will ban people for no reason sometimes. It's very annoying at times. Anyways, and you can just go ahead and launch a GTA 5, but then people also, if you've been modding your game a while, you might get a corrupt memory error. Your game might not be valid. So what you're going to want to do in that case is just go to properties of the GTA launcher, right click it, hit properties, and then you're going to see a target line. From there, you're just going to hit space and then type dash verify. And then once you've done that, go ahead, hit apply, hit continue, and select OK. So now what you're going to want to do is launch the game as usual, but then instead of the game launching, you're going to get something else, something like a very fine tab, as you will see in a second once it loads up. And then pretty much what this does is it's going to check all your internal game files. And if it's missing anything, if it's old, if it's any of that sort, it needs replacing, it's corrupt, it's going to know that. It's going to tell the game launcher to re-download it. So then you're going to have a stocked vanilla GTA 5 for you to play with online. And once you're done verifying the game, downloading if you need to, just go ahead, right-click properties again. Make sure you take out delete verify, just like that. Hit apply hit continue hit ok and that's pretty much all you need to do just go online sign into uh, social club 
with Rockstar's game ID and just go ahead play with your friends do what you want and once you're done that all you need to do to throw back your mods is just right click hit cut just throw straight into your GTA 5 main directory and that's it voila very simple to do very easy to do and pretty much anyone can do it modding can be a pain in the ass sometimes but as long as you follow the instructions follow the basic steps it can be done so yeah, that's pretty much it uh, if you have any comments or concerns drop it down below in the comments i will try to get to you as fast as i can and take care guys peace out